uh, remember our patient that was sitting down? It has finally risen. <laughs> I mean, it stood up finally. I last visited this camel uh, the 2nd of September and decided to let it be for a couple of weeks. I was thinking I'll let it uh, recover on its own. Um, I've been given, I've been given it enough uh, medication for the last uh, four weeks. So, um, also checking its uh, CBC and blood chemistry for the for a couple of weeks interval. No significant rise in uh, important parameters were seen in uh, the results. So, meaning the animal is apparently healthy. From the inside and everything has been on the positive side of things when it... this video that you're seeing now was uploaded uh, the 9th of august and uh, when i first handled the case it was for the 4th of august and uh, after a lot of treatment regimens and uh, visits the animal like i said i'm sorry to repeat myself but responded and had the energy to stand up and walk again so uh, here is the video of the animal um, I'll, I'll show you the visits that we've been uh, making and also the result and uh, the animal standing okay enjoy the video and uh, see you on the next one bye bye hey guys a pleasant day to you all so we are back in one of our uh, patients this is the recumbent camel so far it's doing okay it's eating it's uh, feeding so we'll take another blood sample biochemistry and the cbc we'll check what's uh, what's going on and see if uh, the treatment that we've been doing is improving or if it's uh, um, giving the animal uh, some benefits so we'll go ahead and check check uh, the CBC and biochemistry and then we'll give it um, IV uh, vitamin B complex for the nerve, nerve, nerve functions and then also we'll give it um, uh, vitamin C all right then so let's go ahead and uh, do that hello guys good day to you this is an update of the recumbent camel that we uh, have been treating the pregnant one about uh, one month now so uh, well I want to show you something um, this, is, this is the disadvantage if uh, the animal has been sitting down for a long time um, it accumulates it's, uh, um, under underside so I'll show you the ticks that's been uh, feeding so uh, here it is. So as you can see, those sticks, they are accumulating on the underside of the animal. There are also... So you can see that, and also under the eye. Also in the ears, you can see... In the ears as well. So if the animal is not mobile, if it's uh, sitting for a long time, so the advice that I, the advice that I usually give is to uh, make uh, as soon as possible with the help of uh, mechanical uh, mechanical uh, tools like uh, have, uh, available uh, um, crane or something like that. Then it will be better. We put the animal on its side just to stretch the legs so as you can see it's on its side we put it up. and then now i ask the farmer to get to get some uh, in insecticides just to the areas where the ticks are accumulating so just to uh, avoid the, the animal get getting uh, anaplasma or any type of uh, blood parasites that uh, this this uh, ticks may bring 
they usually uh, um, carry anaplasma babesia so yep we have to do that so here we go so that but uh, you don't have to spray it with the strong insecticide, just uh, enough to kill the ticks. So hopefully this animal will uh, stand. I'm hoping that it will stand for a while now. And uh, I checked the blood results. We have the blood results already. So in the liver enzyme nothing is increased in the uh, blood urea so the CB uh, normal nothing nothing has been not, no, no changes uh, basically it's just to uh, let the animal uh, take its time and uh, hopefully it will stand so the good thing about this is uh, there's no edema on the legs, on all legs, eating properly, so no uh, changes in the appetite. So the, the problem that we're having now is uh, the tick, because like I said, it's been sitting down for a while now. So we have to monitor it other than it's... Uh, recumbency all right so that's the update for this animal give you another one in a little while when we return for uh, the next treatment Hey, what's up you guys good morning good morning i hope you're doing all fine um it's uh wednesday from where i am and uh i have good news so um we have one uh, recumbent camel as uh, i will include in the video we've been following it up for uh, nearly a month now and uh, yesterday i received a report which is a very good news that uh, it stood up already so this is the white pregnant uh, old camel that we've been uh, giving uh, medications, um, multivitamins, um, um, some uh, that, and th this is the old camel that we've been giving medications for a while now. So we will uh, we will visit this camel and uh, I'll show you what uh, what progress uh, is uh, happening. So I'm. I'm very happy about the news and uh, I'm I'm very excited to see the camel today and uh, for now I will also uh, visit one uh, camel calf newborn calf yesterday and uh, it, it reported to us that it's um, not standing from uh, when it was born so it should be standing in a couple of hours after it was uh, born but uh, this one uh, still uh, is having difficulty standing. We'll, we'll help it and uh, see what uh, we can do to uh, make it uh, better. Okay, let's go and uh, we'll visit this camel calf first. Yala. Look, as you can see, as you can see, it's standing. So it is uh, not uh, very weak at all as reported to us. 
So just uh, shaky legs, jam, jelly legs. Uh, but uh, overall, it looks fine. Oh, looks fine to me. Yeah. All right, so we'll give it uh, this injection. Just one ml. Oh. Sabar, sabar. Check, check, harara, harara, harara. And uh, we'll check also the temperature. Temperature is at 38.5, so it's in uh, normal range. Okay, so we don't have to worry about anything for now. We will come back tomorrow and follow it up. Hello. Welcome. Yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so we are here on the farm uh, with uh, our patient that was recumbent before, the camel. So I'll show you the camel now. I'm pretty excited. Here is our patient. Our camel. Look at her. Hello. How have you been? It's been a while. I think two weeks since I didn't see you. See, it's not standing. No edema. Nothing. The camel is pretty okay by the looks of it. Well, this is great news. Who, who would not be happy? We okay. Yeah, we are with the farmers. So, salam, 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 salam. So, according to them, it was come say on gobbles, huh? Five days before it stood up. So we are happy, the farmers are happy, the owners are happy. Mashallah, as they said in Arabic, Mashallah, Mashallah. So we will uh, be finally closing this case. And uh, thank you very much. Shukran. Shukran, Shabab. Shukran. Hey guys, so I'm, I'm really happy to see our patient already standing, still uh, eating properly. I mean, uh, when I say properly, it's still uh, not losing appetite. Same as before when it was eating, when it was sitting down. And uh, right now, it's still uh, feeding the same way. So no, uh, no emaciation or no anorexia. And uh, I just can't, I couldn't uh, contain my happiness. So just want to share that with you. And uh, these are some uh, things that uh, make our work, uh, you know, worth worthwhile after a um, series of uh, treatment finally it paid off so there there are animals that are recovering and there are some that uh, um, do not uh, make it but uh, this one is an exemption so after sitting for over a month finally it's uh, recovered okay so i hope you'll enjoy this video and uh, if you like it please uh, share and um, subscribe to my channel bye bye and see you on the next one